I so. If they want the smoke, then yeah, it's no jokes, boy, it's up. It's up. In the end zone, that's a TD, we finessing, chub. Filling up the stashies, and they knowin' that's a plus. plus. Back to back, I like plays, all my moves is tough. It's tough. Watch them all die out, I've been killing with my lugs. Feeling like a pro, I've been schooling all these rugs. They be betting all this, calling plays out the books. Little bit of prayer, hard work, that's all it took. All I want. All I want, W's and bank rolls, that's all I want. All I want, that's all I want. W's and bank rolls, that's all I want. Hey. All I want is money, power, respect, though. Can I take our foot up off they next? No. I just saw the door, yeah, we next, bro. Do not call my phone, send a text. They see us by our style, send our checks, though. She licked me up and down, that's from head to toe About to catch a flight, let's go to Mexico Living in the moment, cause you never know so now you know, I'm just like Xavier Rushan with the pep talk. Third time to charm, third down and they step up. Keep it in go, now we cannot let off. QB, I keep me a pack like Brett Favre. Got them all shook, soon as we tip off. Top of the ranking, yeah, watch how we slip off. Rushing my way, I'ma give them a stiff arm. Hey, that's all I want, that's all. Call me Degas on that song. Hearts all on me, flex like one on one, yeah, yeah. Different colorways, this another one, yeah. Heard they want a tote, let me stuff my blunt, yeah. Uh. If they want the smoke, then yeah, it's no jokes, boy, it's up. In the end zone, that's a TD, we finessing, chub. Filling up the stashies, and they knowin' that's a plus. Back to back, I like plays, all my moves is tough. Watch them all die out, I've been killing with my lugs. Feeling like a pro, I've been schooling all these rugs. They be betting all this, calling plays out the books. Little bit of prayer, hard work, that's all it took. All I want. All I want, W's and bank rolls, that's all I want. All I want, that's all I want. W's and bank rolls, that's all I want. Hey.
Tell them run it off. I wake up. I'm by my lonely Turn to a savage Now my baby wants to hold me I love my fans Don't need no friends I got my homies Thought I could trust you I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court I'm Nick McGrady The first one in The last one out Can't call me lazy Put in my hours Send the invoice And they pay me I need six rings Like MJ and Tom Brady I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this, what? tell them run it all, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell them run it all, I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this, what? tell them run it all, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell them run it all, y'all gon' make me take that trip way out to Europe, Call up Niger, he'll come through in a hurry Those London boys don't come to play, you should get worried One false move, find yourself, they getting buried Dance with the devil, used to love playing those games Made some bad decisions that brought my mama pain I made a promise to her, swore that I would change I'm on the come up, bet I live up to my name I wake up, flex, I'm down that check No drip, this, what? tell him run it up no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell them run it all, I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip, this, what? tell them run it all, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell them run it all. Swipe, swipe, 
Swipe, swipe, swipe. Just picked up some bands. Come and come again, come again. They do what I do. I'm like Simon says. Yeah, I'm the running man, rapping rubber bands, rubber bands. They do what I do. I'm like Simon says. They do what I do. I'm like Simon says. Simon says. Swerving, making plays. Go for all you red. Never out my zone. Touchdown in my hands. Only fam around me. I can't have no friends. Had to cut you off, you left me out for dead. Ever since I was a teen, had prices on my head. Had to cut you off, you left me out for dead. They do what I do, I'm like Simon Says. Just picked up some bands, come and come again. Come again. They do what I do, I'm like Simon Says. Yeah, I'm the running man, rapping rubber bands. Rubber bands. They do what I do, I'm like Simon Says. Just picked up some bands, come and come again. Come again. They do what I do. Point on the beat, all point make them dance. Yeah. We came up for nothing, now we're we'll making plans. Yeah. Just picked up some bands, just picked up some bands. Up some bands. Tell her, ask you questions wow. when I'm coming. Why? Yeah. On the run like a runaway. runaway. Only way is the money way. Money way. New chain, no jewelry. Yeah. No games, don't fool me. No. 21, been a, boss. been a boss. Play the game, pay the cost. Pay the cost. Heard your early tick tock. Need to get another watch. Yeah. Just picked up some bands, come and come again. Come, come again. They do what I do. I'm like Simon says. Yeah, I'm the running man, rapping rubber bands. Rubber bands. They do what I do. I'm like Simon says. Just picked up some bands, come and come again. Come, come again. They do what I do. I'm like Simon says. Yeah, I'm the running man, rapping rubber bands. Rubber bands. They do what I do. I'm like Simon says.
Según el coeficiente de optimismo de la sociedad actual, la cosa, ahora mismo no está la cosa para hacer un viaje con tus amigos, ni para cambiar de moto, y mucho menos para hacer una reforma. Ahora mismo ni siquiera está la cosa para comprarte un móvil. En Imagine te ayudamos a mejorar la cosa de una vez por todas. Todas las facilidades del mundo para que te vayas de viaje, para que te compres un móvil y para que hagas lo que tú quieras. Imagine. Es hora de recuperar el optimismo. Hello and welcome to Madrid Urban Sports, live from the beautiful capital of Spain. We've had an action-packed weekend with, over, with athletes from over 25 countries competing in various disciplines, from skateboarding to BMX to inline skating, and now we're heading towards the Scooter Street Finals. So stay tuned because we're going to have an epic competition ahead of us. And I'm not here alone. I'm super happy to introduce, well, probably doesn't need any introduction in the scooter world, Will Cashion, aka White Trash Willy. Will, you are the co founder of Undialed. You know everything about scooter world. Super happy to have you here. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here, and I feel like we're going to have an awesome street competition today. Unfortunately, at Extreme Barcelona, we couldn't finish the street competition, but now it's the weather is clear, and it's going to be a great show that all of us are going to enjoy. So I'm so excited to see what these athletes do, and I'm so excited to see the precision and dedication that they do every single day on their scooter performed at a level like this. Absolutely. And as you just said, it is a perfect evening here. The crowd is massive. The energy is really high. And also looking at the riders list, there's some pretty big names there. Can you talk about that a little bit? Oh, absolutely. We have some big names out here today. Up first, we have um, Amir. He is from Spain. Behind him, we have JD, one of the most influential people in the entire scootering world. He is usually behind the microphone himself, but today he is a competitor, which I love to see. Um, we have Hugo from Spain, uh, as well as Lucas D'Amelio, our previous champion, which I'm so stoked to see. We have Dante Hutchinson, um, who was just in our previous competition, so he is a versatile weapon that can be either street or park. Um, we have Jeff from Spain. He is one of the craziest men when it comes to combos and speed of his hands and feet, so I'm excited to see him out there. We have August Pallad. August is from France, and he is a beast on the scooter. We're gonna see some sick 270 lips from him and some crazy up rail variations. I have no doubt about it. Um, we just have an amazing lineup of riders today and I feel like the venue looks so awesome. Uh, it definitely the, does. The, the, the course looks a little bit bigger than it did at the last uh, street competition. So I'm excited to see how these boys are able to use the course. And I feel like it's just gonna be it's going to be an awesome, awesome time for all of these guys. Absolutely. And, you know, there haven't been many competitions this year in general. And in Madrid, this event is happening first time on site. So, I mean, it's a pretty big one. And it's so <clears throat> I feel like it's so important to have in-person, on-site events because the crowd is able to bring the certain energy that I feel like is so hard to get anywhere else. And sure, you could have people watching on a stream and sure you could have people watching from a distance, but I feel like when you have the people there cheering for you in person, it brings a whole new level of hype. For sure, let's go. So first we have Amir from Spain. I have not seen him ride before, but I have no doubt that he is an incredible screw rider if he's here in this competition, and I'm excited to see what, how he performs. 
And the crowd went absolutely nuts for him. I mean, he's a local oh. boy, so... <laughs> he is a local legend there, oh, there I have go. no doubt about it. <laughs> he I is mean... 21 years old. He is stoked. Look at that smile. Super nice. Up next, we have JD, the biggest man on a scooter. He is one of the most intelligent, kind-hearted scooter riders in the entire world, and he has done so much for the scooter scene, and all of us, we just owe JD so much. Up next, we have Hugo from Spain. He is 18, and I am excited to see how he does today. I know he is another crowd favorite because he is from Spain. Up next, we have uh, Lennox Ugo, uh, he rides for Ethic and he has been on a roll recently. He's been filming a lot of video parts recently and I'm excited to see him in this competition. Up next we have M Matthias Villers from France and he is a beast on a scooter so we're going to see him go off. Up next we have August Pallad from France. He rides for Ethic and he has consistently been throwing down over the last couple of years putting out video part after video part. Up next, we have Jeff from Spain, and he, like I just said, has some of the fastest hands and feet on a scooter, and we're gonna see some insane whip bar combinations from him. Up next, we have Dante Hutchinson, a versatile weapon that we just saw in the park competition that is gonna be out here putting on a fantastic show. And finally, we have our first place qualifier, Lucas D'Amelio, our current Scooter Street World Champion, and he is out here and he is ready to perform. The level of tricks that Lucas is able to do and the steez and finesse that he's able to put into his tricks is just unmatched. So we're gonna see some amazing things from him as well as all of the riders out here. And it's just gonna be an amazing show. Oh, can't wait. And also, Will, I think we need to talk a little bit about the medals because Madrid Urban Sports is really making a proper sustainability move because all the winning medals are made out of recycled plastics. I mean, how epic is that? I feel like that is so cool that they use a material that at one point was trash and now is going to become someone's treasure. I feel like that is the, the such an awesome use of materials in this world because I feel like that we have so, so much trash in this world and the, the fact that we can turn that into something that's going to be valuable to someone on a sentimental level, I feel like that you, you can't get better than that. Absolutely, it's beautiful. So I think we're getting ready for the first athlete to drop in. Something that I love about the street style of scooter competitions is is the way that they have to use the course. It's, it's a little bit smaller features that, than there is in the park competition. So the way that they have to be able to get around the course, I feel like is so unique. And I just, I love to see the street competitions being held at the same level as the park competitions because I feel like there's so many different disciplines within scootering that it's important to show all of them. Absolutely. And I mean, he's definitely a crowd favorite. He's been getting the biggest cheers from the crowd here, and the crowd here is massive. So he's dropping in, and he does a fakey 50 on that ledge. So clean. Going around with a bar rewind air on that quarter pipe, straight into a back 50 to bri flip, and the crowd erupted from that one. They are stoked. Does a board slide on that coping, going up that Euro gap with a nose manual. That looks so sick. I'm glad he didn't just go up that. He threw a little bit of spice in there. He's going around, he's dropping into that quarter pipe, pushing, going over the bank to bank, straight into a heel rewind up the step up. He's getting hyped, he's getting stoked. He's turned around, going for the double kink with a board slide. Nice board slide down the double kink cake with a front hurricane down the second rail. And that is his run. And he had a flawless run, and the crowd is stoked. I mean, what a nice opener to the street finals here in Madrid. Let's see how he scores, because he will set the bar for the whole competition. I guarantee you, at this very moment, he will be in first place. <laughs> And also last place. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> what a what a what a spot to be in. <laughs> Waiting for the score. While we wait for the score, let's also talk about the competition format. So, all athletes have two 45-second runs, two attempts, but also the best trick counts. Best trick can count as 30% of the whole result, and the runs about 70%. So he's going for his best trick right now, and he is doing a. Salad oh. on the back fence, but unfortunately just missed out. That's crazy that he would go for that. Remember, 
at the last competition, Lucas fell over the back of the gate. I know. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? That was just like that was insane. Yeah. It's like such high energy. So he had such a great run out there, and it just makes me stoked because the crowd got so hyped for him. And I feel like ultimately that's what you're doing out there. You're just trying to make the crowd stoked. Absolutely. And he is out there with a 41 point score, putting him into first place. But up next, we have the man, the myth, the legend from Madagascar. <laughs> we have JD. Look at that smile. Oh, you can't get a better smile than he, he is such an entertainer with that Ice Cube shirt. He is so saucy. I, honest, I just wanted to highlight the Ice Cube shirt. It's like style props as well, JD. Go for it. <laughs> So he goes with a board slide down the first double king, straight into a whip feeble on that little ledge. Turn around with a back double peg, straight Ooh. away ice pick to heel whip. So good. Smooth. Turn around with a fakie feeble on that quarter pipe. Go into a tooth to nose man. He's so quick with just popping his wheel up. He does like an under smith on there. That was crazy. Ooh. Does a smith to triple whip on that up ledge turning around with a front side air straight into a whip front smith to little tooth at the end and he's got seven seconds left he's going back to the top of the stair set it's crazy how big this man is he is right? huge like look at look at him compared to the other riders <laughs> and he's still like delivering to the highest end it's so cool oh, to yeah. see he is such an amazing guy he rides for ethic pro scooters he, he he can speak like six languages he's he's such an intelligent human being and i i'm so happy that he's a part of the scooter community but here's his best trick right now let's let's see what he goes for he's let's giving see. a thumbs up he's doing this for madagascar right now let's see back 50 Ooh, part three landed it yeah mr jd with his signature trick Back nice. double peg to hard 360. What did you think of that run? I mean, I know him as well, and he's such a lovely guy. So I'm anyways really rooting for him, being very unbiased here. And I mean, yeah, it's it's just so fun to watch. Super fun to watch. And as you just said, compared to the other riders, he's so much bigger, but I mean, he's just so skilled on a scooter. So it's just really fun to watch. You need a body that big to contain a heart like his. <laughs> Aww, how cute. <laughs> 65.77 points for JD. Nice one, buddy. So up next, we have Hugo from Spain, another hometown hero. So he is, he is getting ready right now, and he is dropping in with 45 seconds, going down the step down, straight into a whip to board side on that gap to rail. That was looking really oh, nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. oh. oh what happened? So he tried a front lift, but he ended up in the wall. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And he just tried. He is slipping up a little bit right now. He's dropping in straight into a 272 lip slide on that rail. That was the hard way of doing it as well. Backside and over the rail. Going over with a front 50 whip into that bank on the left of the rail. Going, oh, oh my gosh. What? And he does my signature trick that I invented called the Willy Flip. Really? So that, oh my yeah. god, that's funny. So <laughs> he flip. does the front 50. Oh, he does the front 50 lip to trying to heal out. And that made me so stuck that he tried <laughs> that trick. I actually invented that trick like three years ago. How so fun. that's so funny to see that in competition. <laughs> Well, I just learned something new today. I know that you have your signature trick, though. <laughs> yeah, the, the front foot impossible. <laughs> the wheelie flip, amazing. So what do you think he's going to go for in his best trick? I hope another willy flip, to be honest. <laughs> maybe, maybe a double willy flip. <laughs> yeah. He's doing oh. for a double whip to board slide on the gap to rail, but unfortunately just slips out a little bit. It's so crazy when you do whips into grinds because you have to land that whip or else you are tackling a rail. Yeah. And and it's it's crazy just the level of precision that goes into so many of these tricks because these guys are really risking it. I know these ramps look a little bit smaller than the park side of scootering, but the difficulty and the danger of doing these tricks is just it's just so so much for these guys. Let's see how he scores. So thirty nine point twenty. 
I know in his next run, he's going to clean it up quite a bit because he was able to land that front lip and that whip or that uh, whip front lip. He would have been able to have a great run. But yeah. up next, we have Ugo from France, and he is a crazy shredder with his signature long hair and bucket hat. That is his style right there. I've never seen him not wearing long hair and a bucket hat. Great style. So let's so see. he's up there with JD. He's getting hyped up. I mean, really great style. 45 seconds on the clock. Look at oh, those yeah. pants. Woo. 45 seconds dropping in straight into a... Wow! He does a huge gap from that ledge into that into that ramp. That was crazy with a heel to double whip. Straight up to a bar spin up the step up. He so far, is, he is using this course so uniquely. So straight fun. into a... Oh, no. oh my gosh. Oh. So he just tried a toothpick down that rail and that is such a difficult trick no one does that trick still has a second run oh yeah so he's got going fast Oppo. wow nice. couldn't quite see what that was because they switched the camera but straight into <laughs> a smith to bry flip going into a nice flare and it is time for his best trick right now or his final trick um that was a really awesome run. I really want to see him land that toothpick in the next run. That is such a technically hard trick and such a precision trick. You're putting all of the trust of your scooter into your front peg. Crazy. And it is, it's such a rare trick to see, especially being how small scooter pegs are. Let's see. Let's see how he scores. I think judges will take this into account that he at least went for it. Oh, absolutely. So he's rolling up right now, going for a, wow, heel to lip, I am pretty sure. That was crazy. Oh, fun. What did you think of that run? I mean, I loved it. It was, like, again, super entertaining to watch. I just love his style. I mean, look at that. How can you not love it? That transfer is so huge. Okay, so he did a hip whip to lip. That's sick. Ooh. Straight into a front smith to bri flip. That was a very solid run from Ugo. And he and that second. Puts in, yeah. And that was it's... second place right behind JD. Nice. Let's see what he goes for in the second run. You think he's going to try the trick again? The trick that I can't name, but <laughs> that crazy oh, trick. For... The toothpick, I want to see him land for sure. Up next, we have Matthias Villers from France, and he is dropping in right now, pushing, 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 going down, straight into a double whip lip slide on that rail, and that looks so nice. Going to that up ledge with a 50 to bry flip, but unfortunately does not land it. Feeble grind on the quarter pipe, going to a front board three whip on that rail. It's such a great rail for that trick. Straight into a Whip rewind up the step up. Jeff's giving him props, but he's turning around, going to a ooh, Whoa, that was whip, nice. whip to bar to front board, taking that trick from Lucas. Doing a uh, clink to front board to whip, ooh. straight to a flare whip. Wow, that was crazy. That was such a great run for Matthews. Absolutely, what a nice run. So Got the Euro skate shop shirt. How do, you, how do you think he will score? I think that he's going to score pretty good. But once again, best trick is 30% of your score. Exactly. So we're going to see what he, we're going to see what he's going to do right now for his best trick. And I'm curious to see what he's going to go for. He's got a big camera in his face <laughs> and they are, they are seizing the moment. Well, he sees it. And his very he focused goes, face. Front 50. Yep. Ooh. Front 50 to front hurricane down the double kink, and that was a great trick. But I think he wanted a little bit more than that, actually. But I'm glad he rolled away. Yeah. He looks happy. Oh, yeah. This double whip lip slide was textbook. You couldn't have done it any better than that. Very nice. Very clean. And, and that front board two, three whip was so good. I mean, that's a whip. insane to watch. It's crazy how they're able to be doing a flip, but also be able to consciously move their feet and do a trick in the air. It's, that's insane to me. 
and he took the lead at 65.9 points. Ooh, and he is our new leader. He but is up our next new leader. we we have August Pallad from France. He has been making an insane name for himself recently with all the video parts and tricks he's been doing. He goes Ooh. in. Oh my gosh. Bummer. He was going for a big gap to crook on Ooh. that rail. But he he goes back up with turn around. He is going for a back double peg to bar spin straight into a ooh, front ice to lip slide. Very good, very good. Turning around, he is going for a 270 oh. deck grab lip down that handrail, straight into a toothpick down the little rail. These French peg riders know how to use their pegs. They do a front 50, ooh, front 50 to back 50, a nice predator on that rail, straight into a bar to 5 or bar to ice down that Super nice. smaller rail. That was a solid run from August. Aside from his first trick, it was flawless. So August is setting up for his best trick right now. He has such a versatile uh, tricks in his bag. I am not really sure what he's going to pull right now. It could be a big gap or a rail trick. Let's see. He, he, he can really do it all. So he's going for... Oh. Wow. So he was going for a 270 deck grab to 270 out to Fakie, but unfortunately just messes it up a little bit. Still has a second try, so the game is oh, not absolutely. lost yet. I also feel like most of the athletes, look, when they mess it up a little bit in the first round, they have so much power coming back. So the second run will be a super exciting watch. Oh, absolutely. I'm so glad that it's best run counts out of two because it really allows these guys to risk it a little bit more than they, sure. than they would have if both runs were added together. So currently he's on the seventh spot. So up next we have Jeff from Spain and he is an insane man. I've been following him on social media for a long time now and he's Ooh, always put out start. bangers. He starts it off with a whip bar front board, straight into a uh, 180 heel front lip down that smaller rail, straight into a T-bog back lip. That was so nice. Into a hurricane Ooh. free to fakey. So good. Turn around, drop it into the quarter pipe. He's going for a whip to feeble to front 360 bar spin out of that up ledge. That looks so nice. Turn around on the quarter pipe. He is going down the double bank, straight into a Wow, what? Whip, whip, whip bar, front lip. He is on fire right now. He's done like four whip, whip to combination. Just one wow, back out to another. Lip. What is this? Crazy. So good. I and mean, front that, board three. This was an epic run, also in front of his home crowd. He's coming for Lucas's throat right now. All right. I'm going to go for best what's trick. He, what will what's he do? He gonna, yeah. yeah, I'm curious what his best trick is going to be. So he's setting up right now. He's riding for Urban Art. He's got his signature glasses and backwards hat. Here we go, dropping in. He's going for the rail to a... Oh! Wow. Nice. Does a Hurricane 540 out, and that is such an insane trick because you have to be able to snap that 540 out of a down rail, which is incredibly, incredibly difficult. And Dante's giving him some love right there. Very cool. That was a great way to run that end that run. I must say, I Will, like I think I think this has been my favorite run so far. I think the fact that he tricked into basically every single grind that he did was crazy. That really just is taking things to the next level. He's not just doing grinds, he's doing tricks in the grinds. And he took the lead, crossing the 80 bar. I mean, I believe, amazing. I believe it. He, that was a phenomenal run. That was but a up phenomenal next, run. We have Dante Hutchinson from the UK. He was just in our last park competition, but right now he is in the streets and he's about to put down. So Dante is rolling up with a clink front board whip, going to a wow with a front people to thank you to half cap play on the little ledge. That's the signature trick. He's always doing the half cap players in the street, and we'd love to see it. So cool. With a big gap, with a big gap front board. Oh, that wall is taking people out today. 
fast front front flip over the bank to bank. Turn around. He's got that Spurs jersey on because he's a baller. Turn around. Going down the double bank. Ooh, whip, whip, Ooh. lip. Straight into a huge flare down heel. Feeble to heel whip. Got five more seconds left. I think he's just going to get ready for his best trick. And his best trick is going to happen right now. Dante is such a versatile scooter rider. He, you saw him in the park competition. You know he's got the flips. You know he's got the grinds. Let's see what he's going to do. Versatile weapon is the term you used. I love it. I'm going to, I'm going to steal this from you. <laughs> he is a versatile weapon. So he's telling people to move right now. So I'm assuming he's going to do some sort of big gap. Let's see what he does. He's pushing. He's pushing. Oh, yep. Okay. I mean, what's up? So, what's he doing? So, okay, there you go. Crowd pleaser. So, yeah. so he's getting Woo. the crowd hyped. And he is doing a, a run up right now. He's getting his, his vision focus. He's getting the crowd hyped because they're about to see a what? indie flip. Well, what? <laughs> and he does an indie flip off the side of the ramp that was crazy i had no idea what he was about to do i thought he was going to turn around and go back and do something <laughs> yeah but that was sick and i mean and definitely a proper crowd pleaser the crowd is just nuts for him right now it's so crazy how dante Ooh. is just bringing flips into the street world and just making flips just a part of uh, the trick variations, is, like with grinds, it's so cool to see how he's combining the two. He makes it look so easy, but he got 73.13 points. So that puts him in a second place right behind Jeff. But up next, we have Lucas Danilio, our champion, wearing the Ferrari shirt. Do you know why? Why? Because he goes, because he goes fast. <laughs> <laughs> So Ooh, yeah, I can already see that. Okay. <laughs> so he's doing the whip bar back lift to whip, starting it off with some fire. Turning around, he's going with the oh. wow. Oh, he's doing the whip bar front board to whip. He's just he's doing a trick in and out of everything he's done so far. Front fifty up to triple heel. Like that was that. Sh it's not an easy trick. How do you just do it like that? So he's turning around. He's doing a heel back lip to fakey. Of course, he's holding the fakey straight into a half cab 50. Wow. He's like doing everything. <laughs> These are tricks that you wouldn't see in a competition, but he's just like, you know what? These are my comp tricks. Going to a. Nice. No, he did not. Oh, what? So he just did a decade flip to 270 out? That. Okay. I didn't know that was a comp trick, no. <laughs> Next level. <laughs> Lucas is taking it to the next level right now. So he is getting ready for his best trick, and I have no idea what he's going to do, but I love the fact that they have this best trick option because it allows them to focus all of their energy into just one trick and not worry about the next trick they have to do. Absolutely. So he's getting ready right now with a... Oh! Wow! 270 whip lip on that rail. And that was perfect. He literally, I have no doubt that he's not going to be in first place because that was just a phenomenal run and best trick. I mean, and you are so right. He's so fast, so fast and pulling out so many tricks that it's kind of difficult to even <laughs> trace him or what he's doing. It's just crazy because the tricks that he is doing right now are tricks that would take other riders hours uh, just to even try and and he's out here doing them back to back to back to back and he is our new leader with 83.5 points he is our new leader and i feel like that is rightfully deserved because that run was insane and look at that electric scooter right there that is a beautiful vespa <laughs> now we go for the second run so we are going back to the top right now we have Amir, and he is feeling the crowd right now. He's got people on their feet. They are stoked. I know he is a good guy in person, and I only know that because of the reputation he has from the crowd. You can't, you can't have a crowd be hyped like that and be mean. So I know Definitely. he's a great guy. 
So he does a fakey 50 on that ledge, starting it off the same way as his last run, straight into a bar rewind air on that blue quarter pipe, going to a back 50 to dry flip. He is so solid so far. Going to a back disaster, going up and over the bank to bank with a nose manual up that Euro gap bank, getting ready, wiping off his hands. He's sweating, turning around, pushing. Yay. Heel rebinds. Oh my gosh. And he just fell off the, the edge of the course, but he is recovering. He's getting ready. He's yelling at something. I don't know what he's yelling at, but he's getting ready for this trick. And he is doing a backboard. All righty. So now it is time for his best trick. What do you think Last, you'll go for? I think that he is going to try to finish what he started in the first round. I think, I don't know, I think we're going to see some sort of crazy, crazy banger from him, though. I know the crowd wants to see it. He's negotiating something? <laughs> Where is he going to go? He's talking to his coach. Coach, should I go for this trick? No, <laughs> go for this trick. All right, coach. He's drinking some water. He's giving giving a head nod. He's ready. Dante's gave him a quick quick neck massage. He's ready. <laughs> going up and over. And he is going for the salad and he lands it. Nice. And when he, when he is done with scootering and he's telling his kids about his crazy time, he will be able to tell everyone that he saluted a TV, which is <laughs> something not a lot of people can say. That's so cool. <laughs> but seriously, he is like the crowd favorite. Whenever he's riding, the crowd goes absolutely epic nuts. Well, he has a lot of friends here. <laughs> oh, I bet. I, I'm curious. I wonder if he's from uh, Madrid. Good question. He's from Spain, but I'm not sure if he's Madrid or not. Look at him stall that Whoa. TV. Whoa. Straight into the Globber ad. <laughs> 56.27 seven points, so he did improve his score quite a bit. That's great. I feel like the fact that he landed his best trick was a great way to end his run. Shady. So up next, up next we have JD, and JD is a crowd favorite and personally one of my favorite riders and he starts off his run with a board slide perfectly straight into a whip to people to front side maybe the fake you. that looks so nice he's going with a ice pick to he whip going over the bank to bank he's got so much steeds when he rides straight away fakey feeble going to a tooth to nose manual on the down ledge of that up ledge turn around with a tooth variation straight into a Ooh, smith nice. ripple whip that's such a nice trick. He looks happy. Look at him. He's always smiling. Whip Smith. Whip, whip front Smith on that little ledge. Turn around on the Euro gap. Going up to the rail with a front hurricane to fakey. Oh, and he, and he just slips out, unfortunately. Still a great but, run from JD. Oh, fantastic run from JD. He's He's got the most unique and style on and off the scooter. He's got this new sheet of signature helligrip that it shows Madagascar and its fullness. And I think it is just, it is just such a cool thing that we have. Cute. We have him in our scooter scene. Very cool. Well, let's see how he scores. But as we said before, you know, it's not just about winning. It's also about being here, riding with your friends, having a great time. And everyone here right now is having a great time. I can tell you that for sure. Oh, absolutely. I feel like scooter competitions are ultimately about the person competing against themselves. It's just cool to have all your friends there. Oh, and he was going for a back double peg to hard 360 tail up out, which would have been insane if he landed it, but unfortunately just fell out. But I mean, smile for miles. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen JD frown. <laughs> That's a good quality to have as a human being. Oh, absolutely. Does that back ice pick to hat grab. Look at that. He had so much steez when he did that. All right. 
Up next, we have... Oh, so that... What is that? That keeps him in fifth place. Yeah. So up next, we have Hugo from Spain as well. He is 18 years old. He's got a nice pearl necklace. And he is getting ready to go into this run with a whip to board on that gap to rail. Not get messed up by the front lip this time because he's turned around with a heel to front lip straight into a really flip a front foot impossible. I love to see it. Back lip um, on the up ledge, turning around, got the skateboarder following him. Front 50 to front lip down the double kink. So nice. Doing that so well. Straight into a bar back disaster. 270 to board on that little rail. He's got eight seconds left. He's turned around straight to the double kink again. Front 50, whip into the bank. And now it is time for his best trick. Let's see what he pulls out. What right do you now. think? What do you think? Ooh, what do I think? I'm not exactly sure. I think Ooh. that he's going to do some sort of grind somewhere. Let's see what he does. Going, he's getting a lot of speed. And he's going to do a, oh my gosh. He was trying a heel front lip variation, but just messes up a little bit. He landed it perfect right there. And look at this trick right there. How beautiful is that trick? <laughs> of course it is. It's the prettiest trick in the world, really, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I think so. <laughs> 45.73 points. Well, he did improve his, his score. He improved his score. Unfortunately, he didn't get that, that best trick. And I feel like if he was able to get that, it would have brightened his score up a little bit more. Yeah. But up next, we have Ugo. And he is an insanely steezy rider with the long hair and bucket hat signature, signature look. He's 18 year, years old from France. And he's dropping in. Pushing with that huge transfer. He's the only one doing that transfer today with a huge downhill air straight oh. into a front board three on that up rail. Heel up, up the step up. All right, so he's turning around right now. He's queuing up for a toothpick nice. and he lands it so well. That was a trick I wanted to see. Straight go. into a 270 lip on that little down rail. He's pushing, he's going. He's doing a, oh, he did like a, a hip whip. That was crazy. Doing a front 50 to bright flip on that up ledge. All right, so let's see what he does for his best trick right here. You can tell he's a little bit upset from not landing that hip whip lip, yeah. but let's see if he can make up for it right here on his best trick. It looks very focused. He's, he's gonna very go focused. He's going to go for it. He's enjoying that nice water. <laughs> he's given some sort of obstacle a point. Let's <laughs> see what he's going to go for. Go, Ugo! Go, Ugo! Alrighty. Needs to blow his nose first. What if that was his best trick? <laughs> he blew his nose. No. <laughs> What a great competition that would be. High, high level of writing. <laughs> well, he's hyping up the crowd. All right, let's see what he goes for. So he's rolling up right now. He's dropping into the bank. Straight into, oh my gosh. So he was trying a huge 270 bar to lip slide. And Dante's giving him the, the approval, you know. That was a crazy trick. And, whoa, and he just almost tripped over his scooter. <laughs> he's in his head right now and he needs to yeah. get out because he needs to realize that, oh, I think he's going for it again right he now. He is. Just for the hype of the crowd. Absolutely. He just wants it for him. All righty, so he's rolling up right now. Drop another step down. Straight into a... No. Oh, and he, try, he tries to one-up it. Oh, wow. Well. What a great compo going general still. 
Absolutely. I always love when people go, like, if they mess up their best trick, I always love when they go back and they try to do it again. Exactly. But he, he started this run off with some heat right there, and that toothpick looks so nice, as well as this front 50 to bry flip on that up ledge looks so good. So it's 43.63 40, points. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to fully stick out the run. But up next, we have Matthias. He is from France, and he is 21 years old, getting speed, dropping in. He's going for a double whip lip on that gap to down rail, turning around. What's he going for? He's going for a back 50 to bri flip on that up ledge. That is a popular trick on that particular obstacle. I feel like it's perfect for it, though. Front board to 270 whip out, landing it perfect straight into the whip to heel up the step up. He's turning around right now. He's rolling up. He's dropping into the step down. He's going straight into a whip back lip on that gap to down rail with a straight to a heel to front lip with a clink front board on that rail going down to the blue quarter pipe oh. straight away flare tail up. His hat comes off, but he doesn't care. Straight into a front board whip into a three down heel over that bank to bank. And that was a really awesome run from him. Flawless, and let's see what he does for his best trick. He's eyeing up something. Let's see what he does right here. What would you do, Will? What would I do? Yes. D double will it flip. <laughs> triple, go for triple. Oh, oh and he does a back Double, back 50-50 down the double kink to hard three out, and I know he is stoked on that because that is a difficult trick right there, Aww. especially through that second kink, and he is feeling good right now. As it should. It's a big whip back flip. And he had, a very, he had a very solid score already from the first run, so let's see how he does now. Do you think he will move up? I think that he definitely has the possibility of moving up because... I feel like that was a solid run, and he landed his best trick well. He did move up, 73.9 points in the fourth spot at the moment. That is per Yeah, he's in third place right now. That was a fantastic follow-up. But up next, we have August Pallad from France. He is age 22 years old, and he is a machine on the scooter. He's dropping into the double bank, going to a... Wow, he did a big gap to, I, think, I always want to call it a nose blunt, straight into a Crooks 270 lip on that uh, up to flat. He's rolling up with a double peg. Oh. Front hurricane fakie. Wow, front hurricane to three to fakie with a, wow. <laughs> I'm this kid is on fire, what? <laughs> yeah, with a front, front ice to lip, straight into a, oh my gosh. And he just falls out. Wow, that looked like it hurt right there, but he was going for a 270 lip deck grab. He's turning around, he's dropping in straight. Oh, wow. and that was a phenomenal beginning of August's run. Unfortunately, he that 270 deck grab lip messed him up a little bit. Let's see what he does for his best trick, though. He still has a chance because best trick does have a quite a notable amount. 30% out of the whole score. Absolutely. So he's dropping in right now. I don't think that's what he wanted. And I think he is kind of hurt from doing that that fall during yeah. his run because that was a pretty nasty fall. It was part of the sport, you know, and at least he went back out there and just tried, tried at least something, you know, and that's all that counts. That first trick he did, though, that gap to nose blunt was insane. So up next, we have Jeff from Spain. And we saw him absolutely kill it in his first run. I told you, he, I think like his, he, like his runs was one of, my, one of my favorites. He is currently in second place right now. Let's see if he can take the throne from Lucas right now. Because he is, he is on fire. All right, so Jeff's rolling up, starting it off with a whip to bar spin to front board, going to a heel front lip on the smaller rail, 
turning around on the blue quarter pipe, going straight into a deck grab back lip into a hurricane to oh. 360 bar to fakie. Again, oh, I, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to a whip, whip feeble, and he is turning around right now, going down the double bank, straight into a heel front lip. He's just landing. Rail. He's just landing all his tricks. He is a very consistent but rider. Whip back to lip, whip. Wow. All right, so it is time for his best trick right now. He is a, he is someone that has a bag full of tricks. On the last run, he did a hurricane to 540 out. Let's see what he does this time. It looks like he's eyeing up the double kink right now. Let's see what he has in his bag that is a double kink trick, if that is what he ends up going for. Let's see. him. Got the, the, the drive in his face. All right, so he's rolling down the double bank straight into it. Wow. Oh, oh the first, first trick he actually didn't land. I think Dang. he had two so perfect he, runs other than that. He really did. So he was going for a heel to bar to front lip. But like, look how good this first trick was. The Absolutely. whip, the bar front board, and this hurricane 360 bar spin to fakie. So dialed. Heel front lip. He is just a phenomenal rider, and I know that he's going to be in future competitions for sure, always competing for first place. Yeah. So now we have two, two athletes left. So what do you think how this is going to roll out? I think that Dante is going to kill it right here, and he is dropping in. With a ooh, with a heel back lip, unfortunately, just messing up, going over the bank to bank. Oh, with a big, with a huge inward. Wow, that was so That's good. A big one. Fast plant front flip over the bank to bank. Turning around with a 50-50 stall, straight into a like can to front board, straight what to a, a flare down. What heel. a comeback! <laughs> that was sick. Going over a little bank to bank, onto the blue quarter pipe. He's rolling, he's rolling up, he's going down the double bank, straight into a whip front board on the gap to rail, into a buttercup air. Wow. That was very nice. Do you think his little mistake is going to cost him a lot of points? I think that his little mistake might not cost him that many points, but I think that he has not taken the first place from Lucas at this point. True. Let's see what he does for his best trick, though. On the last best trick, he did a indie flip off the side of the course. So let's see what he does now. I know Dante has the capability of doing anything, so let's see what he goes for. Mm -hmm, very He's exciting. First priority, getting the crowd hype. He, 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 he always insists on that, which is makes him a great sport. But he's pushing. He has speed right now. He's rolling up. He's going, and he does a fast front flip to tail whip, <laughs> and, he, and he lands it, and he goes straight into that fence, which Taking the fence with him. <laughs> I mean, these kids are wrecking the whole course. <laughs> Fences, TVs, <Take> what's next? <laughs> he takes off his shirt, throws it into the crowd. He's stoked right now, which... Imagine, imagine being in this spot. He is, he is on fire. That's great. He just killed it in the park competition. He killed it in the street competition. He is going to have a great rest of his night. But well, looks like we know who our winner will be, and looks like he. Well, what do you think? So our winner right now is going to be Lucas D'Amelio because he is our last competitor and he is still in first place. Let's see if he has the same speed as his Jamie Hull in one-upping his previous run. Yeah. That'd be really cool to see. I mean, and now he's just going to go to the victory round, right? Oh, yeah. There you go. He's, he's got a Ferrari shirt on because he's the fastest man out here. <laughs> he sure was fast. All right, so here he goes. He's rolling and he's dropping into that 
with a wow. Oh, and he just messes up a little bit. He was going for that same first trick, the whip bar, back lip whip. He goes over the bank to bank with a heel whip. Straight into a wow whip to invert. He did that so nice. Does a front board up the first part of the double kink. Unfortunately, doesn't make it all the way there, but it's all good. He's, he has nothing to stress. He's turning around, dropping into the quarter pipe. He does a front board to whip to fakey, holding the fakey to nosy to bar off the end. That was such a cool way of doing the end of his run. Oh my gosh. So now, that was such a unique way to use the course. That was so cool. So now he's got his best trick. He already knows he's the winner. He's just doing this one for the but, crowd right well, now. Well, I'm going to run actually down to the chorus and I'm going to try to catch him. So I'm going to leave you alone for a few minutes and just enjoy the show. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Awesome. So we have Lucas right here. He is our winner right now. And he is gearing up for his best trick. Lucas has been on top of his game recently, releasing so many video parts. And okay, right now he's going, doing, oh my gosh. So he just tried a 270 whip to bar spin to lip on that rail and that was that was insane I, I i didn't even know that was a combination trick so look at how good this whip to invert was i feel like you can't get much better than that and this front board was pretty good but my, the highlight of the run was definitely this front board front board whip to fakie and he holds the fakie but then does a half cab nose magnet to bar spin and that just looks so good look at that smile look at that thumbs up lucas has been on top of the game he's our current world scooter street champion and i feel like the future is only bright for this kid he is he has been killing every single competition he's gone to every single street jam he's gone to he's just been an absolute unit out there, a versatile weapon that can throw his scooter around and do whips and bars faster than anybody out there. And it's so cool to watch all of his hard work pay off. You can see how stoked the crowd is right now because they, they, they know. And right now we're about to hear from Lucas, the man himself. So he's up there. He is, he is just enjoying right now, just chilling the course. And now we're gonna hear from him. Lucas Di Meglio, you won Madrid Urban Sports Scooter Street Finals. Congratulations! What are the emotions you're feeling right now? I'm feeling good. I was just here, like to chill with my friends, because my my objective is was the championship of the, the world championship uh, two weeks ago but now I, I win this and I'm so happy <laughs> I mean you are the unbeatable champ currently is there something you want to tell to the crowd because they've been cheering for you like crazy yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so I'm so happy I'm so glad to win this it's not just about me it's just about my family my my friends who support me my my girl my girlfriends support me every, everything and every time and yeah, I, I, um, I thanks uh, them, and I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Beautiful words. Congratulations once thank again. You, you. <laughs> and Lucas is our winner right now, giving a big shout out to his friends, his family, and his girlfriend. So he is a just an absolute great guy, and I'm so happy to have him be as part of the scooter community. Always bringing new levels into the game with his combinations and his trick selection. He is on top of it, always on fire. He has released a couple new video parts recently, so make sure to put his name into YouTube and watch some of his newest video parts because they are mind-blowing. The tricks that he is able to do are, are superhuman uh, maneuvers that I never thought would be done on a scooter, but he's out there doing them like a champion. Look at that first best trick from his run. He does that 270 whip lip, and today has just been an overall great competition. I feel like, like 
seeing these guys up here get as stoked as they are and and just well, smiling back. like they are so great to see hey, you're back i am back i mean honestly the energy down at the park is just amazing it was so fun just got a nice little interview comments from the winner i mean he's a current champ and like he's just he's just really really happy right now Whew, what a great competition what do you think I think today's competition was so great. I think that the fact that they were able to come out here and everyone do such great runs and no major big falls and no major big spills, I feel like that's the best way to end a day. It's with everyone smiling and the crowd stoked. I feel like that's all you can ask for. Absolutely. Were there any tricks in this competition that you were incredibly impressed by or was, it, was there something surprising here for you? I feel like I'm just surprised at how consistent these top guys can pull out such high caliber tricks at their disposal. I feel like for me, that's that's incredible to watch because I, these tricks are, take so much precision and so much strength and so much ac accuracy that the fact that they're able to do them back to back to back to back and keep their speed, that's probably the most impressive thing to me out of everything. I fully agree. I think we had such a great show here today. And Will, thank you so much for joining us here today. I mean, with your commentary and all your insights about the riders, like you also bring the competition to the next level. Thank you so much. I just, I love scootering so much. And I feel like scootering is such a great way to express yourself as a human being. And it's such a great community of people that all uplift each other. It's such an open, great community. And I just, I just want to see it grow from here. And without competitions like this, it'd be hard to continue the growth. But I'm so grateful that there is great competition series like this one that I, I get to be able a part of and you get to be a part of and we get to just display scootering on a grand scale. Absolutely. I agree with you 100%. And we've had an epic weekend here at Madrid Urban Sports. I mean, we've had so many different competitions, so many different athletes. I think there's over 350 athletes competing here over the weekend. So whoever is following us on Instagram, go to at Urban World Series and do that because we're going to have more competitions coming up in the next years. And, you know, you get all the scoop of the athletes and everything from there. And Will, thank you so much. It has, it has been an incredible weekend. Madrid also blessed us with awesome weather, the energy the people in the crowd brought here because we were able to have an on-site event again is just amazing. Thank you so much for being such a great host with me. I, I feel like I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. So <laughs> I, I appreciate your enthusiasm and your love for action sports in general. <laughs> so I, I feel like like this weekend was great and I can't wait to see future weekends in the future. Uh, right back at you, Will. Thank you so much once again. And anyone watching, thank you for joining us and have a nice evening. See you soon. Have a great have a great day, guys. Bye. <laughs> Number one desirable Out of what I want when I want and how I want it Leave you with the one in the yeah, air That's how I roll I got tons of soul and my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable Out of what I want when I want and how I want it Leave you with the one in the yeah, air That's how I roll I got change and throw, I don't care about no gold Better, so much better, flipping incredible Always on the show so they know that I still got it And I never feel sorry, yeah, at top of the world Champion.
Según el coeficiente de optimismo de la sociedad actual, la cosa, ahora mismo no está la cosa para hacer un viaje con tus amigos, ni para cambiar de moto, y mucho menos para hacer una reforma. Ahora mismo ni siquiera está la cosa para comprarte un móvil. En Imagine te ayudamos a mejorar la cosa de una vez por todas. Todas las facilidades del mundo para que te vayas de viaje, para que te compres un móvil y para que hagas lo que tú quieras. Imagine. Es hora de recuperar el optimismo. Keep me a pack like breath off. Got them all shook. Soon as we tip off, top of the ranking, yeah, watch how we slip off.